clip. It's been a while. I know, I kind of just disappeared after drinking four liters of boba. But after that boba video blew up, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, well, maybe it's time for me to drop out of school and become a full-time YouTuber. But then my Asian mom was like, no. So yeah, here I am still at school. YouTube for me has always been just like a channel for me to like kind of get creative and document um, some happy memories. Um, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. If you guys want to watch, then watch. If you don't want to watch, then don't watch. Like, I, I can't tell you what to do. If you are new, my name is Yang. Hello, everybody. I'm from Montreal. Um, and... Yeah, I'm a very awkward bean. So, since nobody asked for it, I'm gonna share with you what I've been up to since my last video. So, let's dive right into it. <laughs> so, Germany, uh, let me tell you all about it. But very briefly, also. Welcome in München! I had the chance to go live with a host family, and my exchange partner's name was Sabrina. She actually came to Canada and lived with my family for a while, but that was early on in the year. So now it's my turn to go to live with her family, and wow. She was so sweet and she had so many kittens because her cat just gave birth and I was crying because I really love animals but I'm also allergic to cats so I'm not sure the crying was for... Yeah, anyway, it was just crazy to see how the Germans lived compared to us, the Canadians. We ate, I took some cute photos, we visited some cute castles, I saw sheep in the wild, it was just amazing view everywhere that we went and it really felt like I was living in a fairy tale. Yeah, we only have construction in Canada, well at least in Montreal, so I don't get any of that view here. Alright, moving forward, I came back to Montreal after two weeks, although I wish it lasted so much longer and I shot one of my friends prom and it was, it was pretty fun. Worked for a nonprofit called Young Leaders, pretty cool. And then I came back and school started. In September, I participated in one of the biggest climate marches. Fast forward to American Thanksgiving, my boyfriend came and visited me because it was near my birthday, so yeah, also pretty cool. Sleep deprivation, crying, and then COVID-19! All right, thank you for not asking to see that. I'm actually living with Brendan right now. <laughs> He's in class right now, so that's why I'm kind of talking by myself but right after he comes back from Chinese class we're gonna go to Costco because let me tell you sis I have no more food in my fridge I mean no eggs no milk no meat the only thing left that we have is pasta but we don't have sauce so today's a big day and I'm gonna bring you guys along it's gonna be a fun time so this is Alexia she's my work buddy uh, I met her in linear <laughs> Algebra and we went through tough times together and this is why we're friends now <laughs> so we do <laughs> It's true <laughs> So we are in Coursera right now uh, The science of well-being is a class by Yale University from this professor called Lori Santos She seems pretty nice. So so far we've been enjoying the class, but it's also the second week Well our second class today so let's see how that goes. The science of well-being. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to class two of the course, The Science of Well-Being. Um, it's time for me to check your assignment. <laughs> there was a survey to fill out and it was basically to understand what are, what are your signature strengths. So, we're gonna share our top four signature strengths. Okay, so she has first, kindness. Second, appreciation of beauty and excellence. Third, Love, scroll down. And fourth, curiosity. Which is interesting because that's kind of, that's like not what I had at all. <laughs> so my first one is love of learning. Second one is curiosity. Third one, creativity. Fourth one, judgment. So if you're interested in taking this survey, I'm gonna link it in my bio and feel free to share your top four with me and 
let's see if we have some like compatible values and strengths. Yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys have. All right, so Brandon came back from his classes and then we're gonna go to a Costco now to go shopping. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be allowed to vlog on the inside, but uh, I'll try to be subtle. <laughs> All right, so we're in. We have a pretty specific list of groceries that we need to buy. Can you get out the, the list? <sighs> All right, so let's go for milk and butter. Oh. There's even a line to get like dairy products to make sure that we're respecting the two meters rule. Oh. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, we'll make our way around. Oh, a line. Yeah. been like maybe two hours so why is it not focusing okay and we got like a lot of stuff we had a short list originally but then I was like I want this I want that I want this I want that and now we're just like stuck with a bunch of stuff but that's okay because I eat a lot Successful shopping, although it took two hours because I just like to walk around and kind of um, take everything. So we're gonna go back to the apartment now and make some dinner. There's a programming workshop happening, but in the meantime that we're waiting for people, I'm gonna make myself a smoothie. We just kind of boiled the pasta, grilled the onions, uh, add in the beef, and then add the pasta to the beef, add the vegetables, add the sauce, and then sprinkle it with some cheese uh, as the finishing touch. So it's pretty easy if you want to make that by yourself. I forgot to mention, but you probably noticed, 
I cut my bangs and my hair is really short now because it's quarantine time and you know what we do during quarantine? We cut hair! Yeah, it just went like this. You guys know uh, that I don't go to the barber to cut my hair, like, ever. Anyway, I'm tired now, so I'm gonna dip. Okay, peace out, bye!